Kisses for the girls. Best day ever. 24, knock on the door. Give me some more. Zero, would you call it a one, a two, a three? Tilly, this is one of my favorite cows to do this. Are you Tilly? Tilly? It's like nearly bob on. Ta-da! Laminated. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell. We have videos every Tuesday and Friday, and the odd occasion we are smashing those Sunday videos. <gasps> whoop, whoop. And that is how you do that. Um, we have the lovely assistant, my fiance, Joanna Wright. Woo! <laughs> Round of applause there. So in the what we want to do in the 12 months kind of review thing, I said I wanted to work on lameness and I wanted to work on proving it. We've got a couple of things in the line we've got ideas for, really, really cool, really, really exciting. But if I don't actually know my lameness and my slimness score, how am I meant to know if we've improved in the last 12 months? It's not going to happen. On a Sunday in lockdown, <laughs> what better thing is to do than grab my girlfriend, come to the farm and start mobility scoring our cow. Best day ever. <laughs> I take her out on the best dates ever. So there is a standard mobility scoring that we do for cows. I never really do this, to be honest. If I see a lame cow, normally I go, okay, that cow's uh, foot needs trimming in the next couple of days. And that's how we do it. But instead of doing that, for the purpose of the projects we've got in the future, I am going to mobility score the cows. Mobility scoring, what is it? I'm going to explain to you now. So there's a standard chart, a mobility chart that I laminated for myself, because it's probably going to get covered in poo. I'm going to explain this as quick as I can. Very dyslexic, so apologize for the reading. So we have a score of zero, good mobility, walks with ease and weight, bearing with a rhythm on all four feet with a flat back, long fluid strides possible, uh, suggested action, no action needed, routine prevention, foot trimming when if required, record mobility at next scoring session. Imperfect mobility is a score number one. Steps uneven, rhythm or weight bearing or strides, shortened affected limb or limbs not immediately identifiable. So that means if they're lame on that foot, it's not what, that what identifiable. That? Identifiable. Identifiable. <laughs> Score number two, uneven weight bearing on the limb that is immediately identif identifiable and or obviously shortened strides, obviously with an arch back or center of the back. That is a score number two, impaired mobility. Doing right for dyslexic. Okay, a score number three, so this is the worst score we can get, is severely impaired mobility, unable to walk as fast as a brisk human pace, cannot keep up with a healthy herd, and signs of score number two as well. So, suggested action is very lame. Cow will benefit from treatment. Cow requires urgent attention, nursing, and further professional advice. In the most severe cases, culling may be the only possible solution. So that is what we have. Mobility score from zero to three. We're gonna check our back shed. Two cows as many as possible. It would work perfectly if someone was stood outside the parlor, we could see the cows going. That would be perfect. We don't work living in a perfect world. So what we're gonna do is just walk through the back shed, see what cows we can do, walk through the lowest building, see what cows can do. I'm not gonna get the cows off the bed, I don't think. And then in the next few days, I'm just gonna finish it off nice and easy. But whilst we've got a bit of time and I have my lovely fiance, Joanna, we're going to just do this and a big thanks to Joe for spending your Sunday afternoon. It's all right, you know, I have loads of other stuff to do, but you know, yeah. I during, during this lock, here. During this lockdown. During this lockdown. <laughs> okay, cool. You know what you're doing, Joe, don't you? Yeah. You so have. zero's the best. Zero, we want, we want we lots of zeros. Zero. I know in the back shed, I've got three cows that are pretty lame, so we'll have to look at those. Yeah. And I was like, I can hear something. That's I was furious. Heard, I Goats. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> 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 um, they're not as bad. Lottie's actually worse than Nancy. Nancy's... Now? Yeah, yeah, well, Why? because Lottie's got attitude. Sass. Sass, that's Pure the one. Sass. Pure Sass. Pure Sass. Woo! She's 29 today, that's my next one. Ooh, a gross bomb in my mouth. as young and beautiful as me. <laughs> as some of you may or may not know, we've done a Q&A's with Joanna a few times, she's actually a little bit scared of cows, so I'm going to put Joanna through the middle, and I'm going to shout at you while well, she's in the middle. Not shout at you, but shout <laughs> with you. Okay. That's the plan. Got it. So Joe, I'm going to the camera off you. We're going to speak in a nice quiet tone because we don't want the cows to get excited. What are you trying to say about my normal tone? I'm saying nothing. So that's what we're going to do. And all I'm going to do is shout at Joanna, cow number. <laughs> Joe's penmanship will be 10 times better than mine. 21, can you believe it? We lost a year of our lives, guys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully not, we might get married. We do a lot of, I do all my trimming myself, apart from Ross coming in. 282 there, walking well, no issues. I'd say zero. 282. 282, zero. What do you say, Joanna, before? The one four... 
you think of big cow, the big... She's a very scoury cow. We'll give her a one. Steps uneven. She doesn't step uneven though. She's zero. I think she's all right. Yeah. What we should do is get someone who doesn't look at the cows all the time, so they've got new eyes. That's, that's me. <laughs> two, five, six. She's walking wow. Zero. Two, five, three. One second, man. You need to find them. We don't she, have a two, five, six. Is that not right in? <laughs> no. You have to put it at the bottom. <laughs> Tom did a good job. Two, five, three. That, that one of my favourite cows. She's zero. Yeah. One of my faves this. Look, I know she's a big cow, she's probably her past back looks good, doesn't it? nice cow, isn't she? Nice so looking at her, looking all zero. And to be honest, the lame cows, when we get to them, they're probably gonna be one sat down because if you've got a bad foot, you're gonna want more lot to sit down, aren't you? Uh, yeah. 296 could do with a trim a one. 296 a one. We've done her. 282. She should have a zero already. Joe didn't see that 28, just forgot about 282 that we did first. And she said, oh, we're gonna give it a zero. We'd already given it a zero, which is good because yeah. it means you were consistent. I will do the scoring the second time as well because you want to keep that consistency in order to keep it correct. One, four, five, I'd give a zero. She's got no issues walking. We'll look at the backs as well. So if, they want, if they've got a nice straight back, and again, you'll see all the cows that are eating, stood up, doing well. I've got all straight backs and walking because they want to get up. The lame ones are normally sat down. I know the lame ones in here that we'll have a look at. See, two, five, three, the, one, one of the faves. And uh, when I work with Heidi, I go, oh, that's one of the faves. She says they're all your fave because they are. Look how cool they are. Should we just watch a cow just brush on a brush? Yeah. You get a wine, she's like, what's my favourite? It's like, no, any wine's your favourite. 264, a very nice cow, straight back, zero. Yeah. This is from someone who's scared of cows, by the way. Doing very well. So here we have number 209. Um, she has got a block on her back left, and I saw that she was lame. She was lame yesterday, so I'll get her foot up this week, and I'm going to give her a two. Because she's lame on that one, even with the block on, I'd give her a mobility scoring of two, because she just yeah. needs... 209 or two, she's uh, someone that needs looking at and trimming. Here we have 118. I don't know if you remember, this is the cow that we pumped with Susie, where we pumped cows into the fluid. She was holding on to a cleansing, she's dropped a cleansing, she was scouring a bit. This is why she's holding on to a muck on her back end. Cleansing's gone, she's been clean inside, she's doing really well, and she's due to be served whenever she comes. She has got a block on her foot as well, bit of an arch back. Let's give her that a two. And what's the number? 118, 118. sorry. 118. 118. So sorry, I was saying a lot of words for Joanna there. 252. What would you say about her, Joe? Girl, look at, look at, she's looking good and that's straight back. What would you give her? A zero. Zero, I agree. So we can see the way 118's walking. We gave her two because of her arch back and she has a block. 148. Old girl, six carver. How you walking, love? I'd give her a one. No, no yeah. real lameness. 112. Give her a two. Yeah. Give her a two just because she's slow. Bit of an arch back, give her a one. Eight, nine, she can have a zero, she's walking well. Two, five, seven, she's walking quite well. Two, five, seven. 0 0.5? 0 0.5, yeah. She's got a block on the back right, back right, outside claw. The way that she's walking, this is two, six, six. The way that she's walking, she's got no arch back. It definitely is a stride, I'd like to give her a two. So who we've got here is 155, who is Penny, and she's currently got... Uh, 255, five, sorry. I don't want to get her up three, because I know she's quite lame. Lock on the back right. She is on some anti-inflammatory and some painkillers to take the weight off that quarter. We know she's lame, but I don't want to get her up because she's chilled. Give her a give her a one. One, six, seven's that one there. Yeah, just a little bit of an arch back at the top end there. But saying that, now she's stood. Yeah, she looks all right, I think. She looks well, doesn't she? Zero. So I'm just trying to be a little bit strict with myself because you don't want to just say everything's zero, but you know, a lot of these cows are doing really well and they're not, not lame. 283, zero. 260, zero. Zero. This is a nice little cow. Look at her. Oh, great little cow. Zero. 206. She was very lame a bit ago. Had foul in her foot. What do you think of her now? 0.5. 0 0.5. You're very, very harsh. Mm, she got a bit slow, but she got a bit over there. No, 0.5. 46. 46. She has got a bit of a block on. Should we see how she walks? 0.5. Yeah, give her a one. Thing is, the we'll slats aren't great. We'll walk in those slats. 229. She looks good. 
Me and Joe have just come into the lodge a little bit just to smash a few off. What we could do with this is we could see what breeds they are and then see oh, what yeah, different breeds breed has got the better, better mobility score. And it would be interesting because we're a cross breed, so we've got the brown Swiss, the ashes, and a bit of Frisian, the whole thing. But this brown Swiss is lame. We'll get this out and just show you. Oh, I don't move very comfy. We're alright, it's not a very comfy mattress, anyway. I'd say she, she looks, she's walking quite well, but her legs are inside. I'd give her a 2, 2.5. We could be harsh from 2.5. 26. Nice back, nice colour. Oh, a brilliant step down. No hesitation. And excellent turn. 26 is a zero. Excellent turn. Excellent turn. 24. 24. Knock on the door. Give me some more. She's looking good. 24. Happy? Yeah. Zero. 35. Let's go live. She's looking good. Nice back. Like that. Yeah. Walking so. well. You can see when the cows walk down here that they don't like walking on the slats. So like in my idea, I've said this before, I wouldn't like my cows slatted all the way down. You don't have to scrape them much because they're clean, but I feel like they don't, yeah, they I like something. I wouldn't want to walk on that all day. No, no. So. Right, I think that's it for today, and then we'll do some more another day. So we are on day two of our mobility scoring the gals. We don't have the lovely assistant, which is Joanna. It's Monday. Obviously, Heidi's off. We've done some jobs this morning, just after lunch now. So I'm just going to go through my dry cows whilst I'm doing, and then I've got the lows to do. But I might do the lows tonight when my milker comes in, and um, I can just whilst they're walking out, I'm just going to mobility score them while they're walking around. That's my plan to get done. Number 19. So we'll take her off the flat. She's walking well. Funny, isn't it? 18. Both going to give zero. Do it, Joe. You've got that little bit of, what do you call that zero? What do you call it? One, a two, a three. You've got that kind of bit, but like on my own, I'm just going to make the decision. She's not got that second opinion, which is quite nice to have a second opinion. 291. Just going to get zero. So Neptune's there, but we know he's a little bit lame. I'd say he's walking okay. But he's definitely not zero. I'm gonna give him a 1.5 because I'm not terribly happy. Tilly, this is one of my favorite cows. Hey, Till. Because you can do this. She's great. Hey, Tilly. Hey, you. Are you Tilly? Tilly. Kisses for the gills. 21 there. Walking very well. Zero. Go, Till. Tilly. Come on, Tilly. Come on, Tilly. How are you walking? I'm gonna give Tilly zero. Walking well. You can see why she's a babe. Oh, yeah. Oh. Walking well again. So these, a lot of these are second carvers and the dry cows at the moment. Well, first carvers become be, going to become second carvers. So younger cows, you don't normally have as many issues with the feet. And you can see these guys are. What happens when everyone's not here to have on a Monday and you kind of do stuff on your own? Just cuddle cows. Thanks, Phil. Having a wee. Number 283. Actually walking a lot better than she used to be. Number 286, sorry. Walking a lot better than she used to be. What I can do as well, which is quite cool, so I can go 286. I was like, I'm sure we did something with her. So I can go like that. Go onto my app. Go to 286. Look at that. She's 18 days dry. 336 days carbon index. Uh, she's in carved sex semen, which is cool. Um, she's a second carver, gonna become a third. But what I wanna look at is health. So I can, I can look at health on 286. I know I've done a foot. So I did her foot on the 31st of the 1220. So just for when she was getting dried off. So I trimmed her foot on the 27th of the 11th, 2020. And then I trimmed her foot again on the 31st of the 12th, 2020. And I dried her off on the same day I did her foot on the 31st. I dried four cows off on New Year's Eve, just cause it's another day to us. So it's really cool. I can do that with my app and see, I can say, have I looked at that cow's foot? Let's say we see a lame cow whilst we're doing these cow's feet and I go, have I done that cow's foot? If I haven't done it, it needs doing now, but I can get my phone out, look, okay, we've done that cow's foot. Um, we've treated her. She's walking 10 times better than she was, which is boom, yes, please. Um, so that is only, it's the 18th today, 18th or 17th today. So yeah, if you're interested in that, that's how we keep check. 114, a bit dirty on the back end. We've not trimmed the dry cow's tails. We could do that. I think she's walking quite well. Not fully, but she is an old girl. So I'm going to give her a one. I wouldn't say she's got any issues. I just don't say she's striding. I wouldn't say she's bang, 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 bang. 
I've got to move this quite carefully because um, I've had issues with mic again. Yes, love you mics. No, I don't. Don't use road mics in the snow. They're not waterproof. Hey, girl. But yeah, it's the camera. 641, the oldest cow on the farm. And if anyone remembers one of the first videos I ever did, she had a twisted stomach. Michael Murphy from Oak Hill did her twisted stomach three and a half years ago. And she's had a few calves since there. I'm not following her. She'd be like, why are you following me? Leave me alone. I know, I'm sorry, love. And look how good she looks. She looks really, really well. She's a bit old. And when I say a bit old, she is 11 and a half now. I think 11 and a half or 10 and a half. Needs a tail trimming, but she's doing really well. She'll be one that we're gonna keck stone. But I think she's walking quite well. Because this is mobility scoring and it's not foot health, I'm gonna give her a one because she's just walking a bit slow, but she's a bit old. Tilly. Here again. And uh, when she does carve, I would like to do a video on her of her carving. So if you would like to see that, let me know. We have done all of them. Uh, truth behold, it's actually taken me a little bit longer to do that than out of light. We started on the 17th and now we've finished on the 28th. So it's actually 11 days. I did most of them. I've just followed, I think I had about 12 or 15 to go find cows, like some in each shed, uh, one in the dry cows as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is total, 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 is total them all up and see how many we've got in each category and then add them all together, see how many cows we've done and then see our overall number of scoring. Speaking to someone whilst we were doing this and apparently you're not as harsh as you should be, but like I'm 75% into it at the moment. So I thought I was being quite harsh on myself. I've kind of kept the same way because then it's fair on the whole thing. 255 still three, she's actually got better. The 12 or 15 that I had to do just then, I've not trimmed any of the feet. So they should be around the about same mark anyway. So, great. Let's get numbering. I'm just gonna be chatting what's it like. Is this, is, this, is this a good place to do it? It's much better than over there. Hold on there. I'm ready to see it. Where's Pen? Pen is here. Okay, so we got zero, two, three, eighty-five point five with ten, three. And one. So that is the numbers we got from our mobility scoring. Uh, cows that scored a zero were 85, 0.5 of four, a one, 25, 1.5 of six, a two, a 10, a 2.53, and a three, a one. The cows were on a 2.5, were 265, 209, and 135. She's gone dry now, and she's on a bit of bed rest in one of the boxes. I've done both her feet and I've done both her feet as well on the walking better since we last did this. We did this on the 17th of the 12th. And number three is 255, who is Penny. She's really struggling on her back right. Uh, we've given her a jab of Loxicom again, anti-inflammatory painkiller. And what I've gone, given her is a jab of Alamycin. She's been out for two weeks outside the tank and a jab of Alamycin is a 10 day milk withdrawal. If you milk cows, that's a long milk withdrawal, but I really want to get it right. I'm just struggling to get her foot right. I'm happy with this, number 85. What I do have is the percentages as well. So if, you, if you're a percentages kind of guy, which I am, you can't hide it from a percentage. 2.9%, 18.5%, 4%. Apologies for my handwriting. Everyone knows I'm, I'm a bit dyslexic, so I don't know why that affects your handwriting, but I struggle with it. Um, she is 2.2%, and then her number 255, she makes up 0.7%. So how it works is zero, nothing wrong, walking really well, no problems at all, was 62.9%. 0.5, a little issue. I know we don't do 0.5s, but I was doing my cow's feet and I was in between where to go, so we've made 0.5. Apologies for anyone getting offended by it, but I'm sure you'll be fine. One, so a slight issue, maybe, and like I know my cows, so I don't know if it's historic in my brain, or like, oh, I've seen that cow before, we, she was lame. Um, so I've, that was quite high for me, it's 18.5%. 1.5, a little bit more than that is 4.4%. Number two, there's 10 cows holding the feet. So that shows me that they're lame. You can notice which foot it is. I'd like to think, and I'm pretty sure I've looked at every single cow on that one. Number three, I've definitely looked at all these cows. And number 255, five, we've definitely looked at her. I would like to get these numbers down, down to here. Get this zero. 
up a little bit because that'd be amazing. And I think I was quite harsh when I was doing this because they were on my own cows and I thought I've got to do it properly. But apparently it can be even harsher. So it would be interesting to see an independent person do it. I'm going to do it again in the next 12 weeks or 12 months and it would be great to see where we are. We have 134 cows and the overall score was, if you add it all together, 66.5. So if you add all these numbers together, we got 66.5. The average number for all these cows is not point four nine six which i don't think is awful i don't know i've not even looked at the standard and the average standard of what's good and what's bad but obviously you'd like that to be down and that is the aim you know when i said what i'd like to do in 2021 is improve mobility so this is one of the stages we're going to do because you don't know where you're at until you've got a score for it my idea is to do this score there's a couple of things going on the ways we can improve this uh, which you'll see very very soon is this going to improve it it'd be so interesting for someone like me i liked numbers because numbers make sense you can't cheat the numbers you can't cheat percentages so i'll do it again and hopefully we can get this number down a cow that walks better she will go to a feed better. If she goes to a feed better, she'll get in calf better. If she gets in calf better, she stays longer. And then you get longer cows, longevity. And then you've got more replacement gals. Hey, more replacements that you can sell on. You don't need to have as many cows. Works together and it works around because get the feet right and you've got your cows right. So that is why I like to do this. That is why we're always picking cows feet up. I never have long cows toes. It's not something I want to do because you want your cows to be walking really, really well. And I hope that explains it. Some of these cows were just cows that just flick the uh, legs out. So if they just flick the legs out, obviously that's all about mobility. It's not just about lameness. So if they're just moving the feet just a little bit differently, just the way they walk, they will get a higher score. I can't really do much about it. If I've looked at it, can't find any issues. I don't want to go too far on the feet. So that's where we're going with that one. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this kind of makes sense. It'd be interesting to see where we are in 12 months. A big thank you to Joanna for helping me for the first day. We got loads done that day. Second day on the Monday, we got lots done as well. I didn't get it done later on. So we had the 12, 15 cows later on. They were about 10 days later. Really interesting to see where we are. If you'd like to see that, put it in the comment section below. And if you like this kind of fact, hopefully this can, you can see this quite well. Uh, we tried to do this before and you couldn't see it very well at all the idea is to try and get like a bit of an office space at my house or get a new house with an office space our house is getting a bit tight with all the merch at the moment so we have looked at ideas with that um to get somewhere we can sit down have a chat and maybe just chat about things happening in farming because my idea going in my head at the moment but moving house is a very expensive thing just to do more of this uh, but yeah if you enjoyed it please put it in the comment section below hope you enjoyed today's video you can pick your tp merch up today it's gone live today at nine o'clock at tom pemberton dash farmlife.co.uk new website the old website kept crashing so apologies for that new products coming out but we're gonna restock more often joe's getting mad in control of it she's might not be very good with cows might be scared of them but stuff like that she's absolutely amazing and organization this is stuff she'd like as well just She's really good at numbers. You can't lie from the numbers. Don't matter what you say, percentages are the way forward. Hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. And next time, it'll be a bit shorter than this one, but I had to just play along. See ya.